Ubisoft. I'm coming for you right now, dogs. Guys, I'm Adam Ronan, and we are here to discuss something that we are oh so passionate about. It's just a discussional video. We're just talking some shit right now about Ubisoft. Talking shit. Because there is a lack of something in the gaming industry that we want to see more of, and we're a little bit baffled as to why it's not a thing. So now I want to introduce you to today's video where we say, Dear Ubisoft, where the fuck are the samurai games? <laughs> Ubisoft. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, you know, we like your games. We think you're pretty, pretty sweet. We, we, we dig the game engines. This is Assassin's Creed. Mostly we're speaking about For Honor and things that did have samurais in it. We're not talking about this. We're primarily basing this on the Assassin's Creed franchise with Assassin's Creed Origins dropping like it's hot. And we're like, hmm, let's talk about this because we dig your game engines. We really like the visual fidelities that you guys have. And despite some of the pitfalls like releasing Assassin's Creed annually over and over again like you did, which you seem to have rectified, uh, we keep coming back because we really believe in the franchise of Assassin's Creed and it's something we really dig. But boy, we have some questions. So what is it about the setting of Japan and feudal Japan, ninjas and samurais and things that you find so unappealing for us consumers? So since your answers have been flat about the subject in the past, let's have a conversation. Ever since the inception of Assassin's Creed, so it's got the mechanics and just the overall themes that would match perfectly with the setting of feudal Japan and ninjas and samurais and assassins. This takes us back all the way to the 90s of one of our fran favorite franchises, which is the Tenchu series, which I think was a perfect precursor to the Assassin's Creed uh, lineage. So you have your stealth-based gameplay, hiding in the shadows of the ninja in feudal Japan, doing different missions, taking out different targets and things uh, with all these different mechanics that would play great into the Assassin's Creed franchise. Now, Ubisoft will tell you that that particular market is oversaturated, but doing our due diligence and doing particular research, we have not found a whole bevy of titles within AAA gaming and stuff that would match this type of uh, quality of video game. Uh, it just doesn't exist. And hell, we're, we're talking not even in the last 15 years. We've dug deep and there's just not a lot to go on here. Now let's get a little bit more specific here and before you jump in, in the comments and be like, <laughs> because magic samurai and ninja, uh, things like that are very commonplace now. Like you have games like Neo and things like that that are very fantasy driven where you're, uh, you know, a samurai slash ninja type character, but it involves a lot of magic and demons and all kinds of different things. We're talking about primarily reality based gaming in feudal Japan, something that is very exciting and could make for an excellent game if given the opportunity. Now, aside from earlier titles like, like Shogun, Shadow of War, and Way of the Samurai 4, we couldn't find any titles that favored historical fiction over fantasy. In fact, I open the floor to you real quick. Can you think of any massive open sandbox type of game that really digs its teeth into historical grounded roots of uh, samurai and ninjas? Can you? You can't. You just can't. So. Picture this, imagine a gigantic open world sandbox game that took place in feudal Japan uh, with ninjas and samurais and an intricate storyline with say the intricacies and detail that you would have found in the coveted Assassin's Creed 2. Can you imagine how fantastic that game would be? So what is the issue here? What is preventing you, Ubisoft, and other developers, I guess, but primarily you, Ubisoft, from making a game set in a locale in a culture that literally had assassin clans? In a setting full of political intrigue, secret assassination plots, and populated with stories of characters that read like fiction. Well, you've spoke up about this before, so let's dig into your excuses. So let's take Alex Hutchinson, for example, who was the creative director for Assassin's Creed 3. He's gone on several times talking about how Japanese and samurai and ninja settings, among other things, are just not palatable for Assassin's Creed. Well, let's take a look at some of this. 
So probably I feel like he's taking his personal opinions on the matter a bit too literally in place of what consumers think because at the time of when he said these things, World War II, Japan, and Egypt were the top three location, locale, and time requests for Assassin's Creed from fans. Now that's from the fans and then Hutchinson goes on to say that they would be the three worst settings for an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> would they be the worst there? Would they be the worst Hutchinson? Because as we know now, next week Assassin's Creed Origins comes out, which is placed in Egypt, which is the first time for me and many other Assassin's Creed fans that the series has been exciting again. Like I, this is, I, I skipped like the last two games because I was just so over the mundane annual weird nonsense that they keep doing with like Italy and all that. Not that I didn't love the Italy settings, but I want a more traditional setting for Assassins. Um, I've always said if I can't get Japan, I think Egypt would be a cool setting and they finally are giving it to me and I'm gonna dig my teeth in so deep that they're gonna feel in their assholes. So we're still here, we're still at the notion of where is Japan? Where are ninjas? Where are samurais? So Hutchinson then, after he said all that, quotes that people on the internet suggest the most boring settings. And that's crazy to me because the people on the internet that are suggesting these boring settings are the same people that are gonna spend their hard-earned $60 on these titles. And they're the ones that are breathing life into the series by keeping it alive, by giving them their financial gains. So when you say that they're basically and the way I interpret that is that the consumers are idiots, they don't know what they want. Well, I say you're fucking stupid because we do know what we want and we are the reason these games exist. And I think that you should listen to your fan base and your consumers a little bit more. Again, we say, dear Ubisoft, with your next effort in Assassin's Creed, I beg you that it has to be Japan because you know you've always said that there wasn't enough tall buildings and things in Japan and there's all these excuses why Japan wouldn't be a good setting but then we take Assassin's Creed 3 for example where we spent most of the time on the road where there wasn't a lot of tall buildings and we spent most of the time climbing in trees so you proved to us that that was really a non-issue when it comes to game development for the Assassin's Creed franchise. Japan is a very intriguing and exciting setting that people would really enjoy playing in. It's very appropriate for the genre. There is a huge lack of historically accurate feudal Japan games. Um, and I think that the Call of Duty series have proved that historically accurate quote unquote games are sellers, they're popular with Call of Duty now going back to the World War II setting. Obviously World War II was a real thing that happened and arguably those are the best times that this, uh, Call of Duty's ever been a game and now they're revisiting that. Uh, I think that the whole era of Jap Japan's history and this, just the things that they've gone through with all their different periods and just the rich atmosphere that Japan as a uh, country brings is massively neglected in gaming. Uh, there are tons of fant fantasy driven games like you've got Ninja Gaiden, there's a lot of indie games that focus on ninjas and samurais here and there, very cartoony, but AAA spearheaded games driven in historical fiction for Japan, I think is an untapped market that would be so fantastic and I think would be so fantastic in Assassin's Creed. You just can't disagree with me there. You can't. So we're gonna kind of wrap up there and I wanna open the floor to you in the comments section. What do you think about this notion? Because surely if you are a part of Ronin 24, then you buy into the notion that samurais are cool and ninjas are cool and just the things that we do here are cool. And I think that would be translated great into Assassin's Creed games. So let's constructively and without being spammy, make our voices heard. So, you know, get at Ubisoft on Twitter. Let's all voice our concerns that we as consumers do think that this would be an exciting new step for the franchise of Assassin's Creed to take uh, once they, I'm sure they've already got the next game planned out, but you know, fuck them. Let's scrap whatever that is and go to Japan, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's uh, let's discuss it. Let's discuss that. Let's take to Twitter and discuss it with Ubisoft and maybe we can make some waves and make some cool games happen in their future. Uh, and and we'll enjoy it. We'll stab some people with our cool little things, you know? <laughs>